Miles away, in this stylish contemporary house, lives a rather stylish-looking lady, a Briard named Fresco. Hailing from the Brie region in France, the breed is thought to have been introduced to the United States by President Thomas Jefferson in the early 1800s. Originally a working dog, the Briard is now renowned for its long, lush locks and high-set ears draped in flowing hair, all features which Fresco models admirably. Only lately, this elegant lady is not looking quite so put together. It's not surprising, really. Given her brand new, supersized squad of 10 baby Briards. Perfectly even, with five girls and five boys. Dad Unger isn't making mom's job any easier. All it takes is one look at this army of invaders and Dad heads for the hills. Briards don't develop their long, lighter-colored tresses till they're three years old. But Mom still got her lush coat to maintain, which is proving tricky with ten wriggly pups around. Big girl Nina is giving Mom the hardest time. She's one relentlessly pushy pup. At lunchtime, she insists on prime position. Little brother Marvin prefers to skip the crowded prey. He just wants his mom. But with his eyes barely open, he just can't find her. So Marvin makes do with his own company, though they don't yet know it. Proud shy Marvin and his antisocial dad might have something in common. Across the country at the Briard's house, the supersized squad of ten has doubled in size and demands. And Mom Fresco's feeling it. Pushy Nina just won't cut Mom a break. Fresco's carefree days of running around outside feel like a distant memory. But in all the Briard bedlam, Marvin is wishing someone else was here. That someone is wishing the same thing. Dad Unger is curious to check out his band of Briards. Marvin gets a sneak peek at Dad. And he's intrigued by this fellow outsider. Which also piques the rest of the troop's interest. But just when the responsibility of ten pups gets too close for this new dad, Unger is called away to run an errand. Seems Marvin will have to keep looking out for that mysterious big dog in the window. The walls of the Briard's house could only hold ten growing pups for so long. Today, they're let loose in the big wide world. And poor Mom Fresco now has to keep tabs on ten tykes wandering free. Of course, Nina's the pushy pup who really gets everyone worked up. Uh -huh. 
All the commotion makes new dad Unger a little uneasy. Maybe the responsibility of 10 pups is hitting home. But Marvin can smell the familiar scent of the same dog he's spotted before, but could never quite find. And he sets off on a search and sniff mission to track the stranger down. Marvin's nose tells him he's getting close. Here's something, but it's not quite what he was looking for. At least it will tide him over till he eventually tracks down its owner. At the Briard's house, the 10 pups are off exploring in the backyard woods. Which gives Mom Frisco a break from her supersized pile of pups. Back in the woods, Marvin's not interested in rolling with the crowd. He's on the hunt for a bigger playmate. Seems Dad Unger might have to find better hideouts with this persistent pup around. Marvin wants to play. And he's not taking no for an answer. Dad can't resist his persistent pup. But this fetch thing isn't as easy as it looks. No matter, with Dad by his side, there's nowhere else that Marvin would rather be. <laughs> <laughs> 